Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Ooh, ooh. Welcome to Healthy G Moms. Oh yeah. Welcome around the world. Welcome to my world. It's Healthy G Mom. And welcome back to my dirty world. My dirty world that my teenager has created. This is called Parents Don't Understand. Kids don't really understand what we go through daily. Kids don't understand. So, been after this kid. Hey, time to get up. It's I'm in coming from Los Angeles, California, and it's a Tuesday. And what time is it? Like two forty. Two forty. Yes. This disarray, this unorganized, this filthy kitchen. I've got bags from Amazon delivery. They're empty. The kid has not taken out the trash. I don't even want to show you my trash can. Mm -hmm. The kitchen. You see him? Kitchen. Dirty. Kitchen. He left my house. We got our COVID shots. Um, I, instead of being... Take that off for a minute, show y'all can do this without this. I'm trying to gain my composure and get my strength because I'm so irritated. We've been calling this kid all morning. Come on, come on and help out. You gonna help, help, help out. So let me fast work. Remind you guys of this dirty kitchen. We got our COVID test on Friday this past week. And instead of me being in so much pain, and feeling headaches and like whatever symptoms um my little pain i had shoulder pain my problem i was more fatigue fatigue tired just want to sleep just drain no energy lack of energy so i kind of rested and and my kid made lunch for us dinner lunch and dinner and some meals for us and i was just thought he was just being a nice kid now which i'm so thankful because he was being nice and I loved that, that had that side of him. But he didn't clean up after himself. Kids don't understand if you're tired. As a person, a woman, man, whatever, when you go into the kitchen and you cook, you learn to clean up after yourself, right? So he cooked, but he didn't clean up. And he left me uh, i took out some supplies to clean up for him but i just got in here and i started saying what to myself wait a minute look at the sink why do i just have to do this again i'm thankful and grateful that he cooked but now you got to do what we do as well bachelors home moms People that cook in the kitchen, somebody got to clean up after them. And normally, normally, it's them. They clean up. Look at this. Yeah. Why do I have to? So, you know, I took out some supplies. We got supplies to clean up. But guess what? Follow along. I'm getting ready to go get this kid up. It's two in L.A. It's two something. And he is still asleep. He went to hang out with my family this weekend. They went to Palm Springs. They did doom bugging. Um, dirt, not dirt bikes, but he told me what it was called. Quads, okay. This new quads, but I remember when I was coming up, it was called doom buggies, okay. So now they, the new terminology is quads, right? All right, so... And they went to uh, the Marina Del Rey and they were doing paddle boating. So he had a wonderful weekend. Look what he's doing. Stop fucking showing uh, me. Hey, hey, I know one thing. You better watch your mouth. You see what, what I'm talking about? Get out of my room. You see what I'm talking about? Get out of my room. Time to get up and help me clean up. Time to get, get out of my room. Time to get up and clean get up. Get out of my room. Kids don't understand. Kids don't understand. First of all, you can't be saying language like that. It is not cool. I am your mother. I don't care. Get out of my room. Look at this. 
He got his desk clean, came home, threw his clothes off, threw his clothes off, stayed up all night, playing video games. Get out of my room. But it's room. two o'clock. No, you're going to come and help me clean up. No, you're going to get out of my room. Jalen. Get out of you, my room. Come on and get up, Jay. I said get out of my room. Come on. Kids, they want to create a mess. You're going to help me today. Oh, yes, you're going to help me. Seriously, you're going to help. This is what we go through. When he wakes up, he is not a nice person. He, oh, he's telling me, I'm... Stop showing you. It's embarrassing. And you're still, all right, you know what you I'm saying? I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Well, come help me. You got to help today, kiddo. You, you have to help. Thank you for cooking meals, but I shouldn't have to be the only one that clean up. <laughs> oh, no. We not finna have that today. I'm got on my gear to clean up. He's left me with all this stuff to do. I'm the one that's sick here. Not him. I'm the one that beat coronavirus. I'm the one that beat pneumonia. I'm the one fighting for cancer. So sometimes he can be nice, and sometimes, see that little potty mouth? Now, comment below. Are you guys dealing with a, he, I don't wanna say rebellious, but he can be quite rude. He can be quite annoying. He can also be helpful. Cooking was helpful, but leaving me with the remnants of dirt, not dirt, I say dirt, dirty. He couldn't even clean off the stove. Look at this. But he is mad because I'm showing y'all. Uh-huh. Showing how parents don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get that part that he thinks that I'm the only one that should be cleaning. Comment below. Do you have a teenager, or what would you call them? Little rascals, little whatever it is. Big rascals. He's 15, 16 years old now. A big rascal that thinks that his mom is a slave. I am not a slave. Again, I stated to you guys at the beginning of my other videos. I used to pay my little sister, Latasha, to clean for me. Now, I gotta clean. I clean when I want to clean. I know how to clean. But it's both of us that live here. We both live in this household. We both eat. We both go right into this refrigerator. This refrigerator. Take things out. We go right into these cabinets. You left the cabinets cabinets open this i still live in a small house i don't have a maid anymore i don't have anyone to help me you see what i'm saying i don't have it like can you can you oh. welcome to a healthy g mom's dirty world that and kids don't understand parents don't understand kids don't understand can we learn to get along one more time it's two something in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. It's two thirty. Can you see that? Two thirty. See, probably better in here if you see it this way. See what I'm saying? Two thirty. Put my hands on the hip, face yes, uh huh, and he's still asleep. I've been up since. 6 a.m. Taking my medicine. Mm -hmm. I get up. I can't sleep. I had my Amazon delivery. Yeah. I didn't go to sleep until midnight. But I can get up and handle my business. My thing is, if you can't, can't stay up all night, if you can't get up and handle your business the next day, don't stay up all night. I got paid. I used to get paid to work at a TV station to stay up all night. And I knew I needed to go to sleep. He knew when he walked through the door, I said, hey, 
Look what you did in that kitchen. He wouldn't even look in there. He said, you're going to have to help me tomorrow. <laughs> you're going to help me tomorrow. Yes, you are. Because you don't understand what I have to go through. You don't understand how tired I am. Yes, I'm getting my energy back now. But I'm still tired. And I don't want to have to do this by myself. So, welcome to my world. Comment below if you got a a teenager that just don't understand. This parent don't understand what is it going, what is could be possibly going through that head of that kid to think that his sick mom, I'm not sick, I'm not gonna claim it. This mother, his mother, with all the trials and tribulations that she has gone through, wanna clean up by herself. No, do not. And I'm not, we gonna be, I, I don't, we don't fight, we don't do all that, but I'm not gonna have it today. We are gonna handle this as a team. We got this kitchen dirty as a team, we gonna clean it as a team. Yes, indeed. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day.